Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Quantum Slime specifically. Now I'm sure a lot of you agree with me if I tell you that these guys are probably the hardest ones to keep inside a coral at your ranch. So today I want to share a few tips on how to ranch these guys efficiently. Now there may be a few spoilers in this video so if you haven't found them yourself yet you may be better to skip this video. So let's start with where you can find the quantum slimes and also their favorite food, the very elusive face lemon. Now the quantum slimes can actually be found in the ancient ruins and in the glass desert. Now you can reach the ancient ruins actually through the moss blanket or the indigo quarry if you unlock the gates. Then you also have to shoot a port of each corresponding kind at the statue near the gigantic gate and the doors will open. Now soon you'll find your first quantum slimes uh, a little deeper inside and at the higher levels of the ancient ruins you will also find the face lemon trees. These are these blurry trees that you can't really see and they are kind of phased out. Now to be able to get the face lemons you actually need to find one tree with fully grown lemons on it and you have to shoot some fruit at it that you brought with you preferably or there are also some pogo trees and also cubeberry trees inside the ancient ruins so you can always find those first. Now the face lemons uh, should drop to the floor as soon as you shoot these fruits at it and these lemons you can just easily shoot into the garden's dep depositor at your ranch and grow them for yourself and you're lucky there you won't need to shoot them. Let's start immediately with what makes the quantum slime so difficult to keep. Now the biggest reason is because the quantum slime has the ability to create something that is widely called as a ghost. Now it kind of looks like a hologram if you will. Now he always does this, um, it doesn't really matter if he's happy or unhappy, hungry or just been fed, agitated or not. But only when he's very unhappy, he will actually change places with his hologram and most likely escape the coral. Now worst case scenario, he might even get inside another coral, eat something, drop a plort inside another Largo bin and coral and there he will start a tar slime outbreak. So here I'm gonna just give you my few tips, my 7 tips on how to avoid this. Tip number one, an obvious one but a very important one, keep your slime sufficiently fed with food. Now their body swap only really happens when they're agitated and that is exactly what a hungry slime is. So keep those out of feeders on maxed, keep their dispensing on max, keep their stocked at all times. You can use drones if you want to free up some of your own time to do other things and just keep them fed enough. Don't overstock their coral with too many uh, slimes you need to make sure that all of them constantly are fed you can do this with their favorite food so you will always get two plorts or four in case it's a largo tip number two you can always avoid a quantum slime body swap by spraying water on the slime tip number three use fashion pots if you have unlocked these and made one of them through the slime science, you can always put some glasses or crown or something else on the slime. Now the copy slime will never have this accessory, so if you see one with an accessory outside the coral, you better get moving. Tip number 4, use slime toys. These keep the slimes very occupied and reduces their agitation. Now these next 3 tips can actually avoid you a target break. So tip number 5. Keep hydro turrets around just in case a tar outbreak happens. These will immediately spray the tar with water and it should dissolve them immediately. Tip number 6. Try to isolate your quantum slimes to a part of the ranch where there aren't too many other corals just in case. Tip number 7. Consider combining your quantum slimes with phosphor slimes. So even when made into a largo, a phosphor slime will always die when exposed to sunlight. So if one of your phosphor quantum slimes actually escapes during the day, he'll die before you even will be able to do any damage to your other corals. Those were my 7 tips to help you manage your quantum slimes. Since I've been using these methods I haven't encountered any outbreaks. So be sure to try these out. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to my channel, it would help me out a lot. If you have any other tips on keeping quantum slimes or would like to see more videos like this one about other slimes, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys, see ya!